two in peace on that old buff bumba below Gary Dam wall. <coughs> These animals are hyenas. Both species of bigger hyenas that you get, the brown hyena and the spotted hyena, which you get spotted hyena by far more in this area. Incredibly powerful jaws. I mean, they can bite through, essentially bite through the femur bone of a giraffe. So the big leg bone of a giraffe, they can crack through if they need to. In this case, it's chewing on some of the rib bones from a buffalo, so it's still not the easiest thing to bite. They can break it open and get to the last bits of marrow and tissue and sinew that's left on those bones. See it having a wrestling match of that, of that carcass. Something else they'll often do, if you look at the design or the build of this animal, even though this one has got a really full belly, but you can see it's got a very strong front quarters, the neck and the shoulders, very powerfully built. What they'll often do is they'll carry food away if they have a death with pups, they'll carry food back. Something the brown hyenas also do a lot, and they can carry carcasses for long distance. In this case, there's no more lions here, there's no reason to take this food away, nothing else really bothering with it. At that stage, with anything I still get some nutrition from it, I, you know, so they're happy enough to sort of bite away and fight away with getting the last bits of food out of this. It's funny just looking at the way they walked up to the edge of the water, you can see that. that Cold, wet mud is not something they're enjoying at the moment. Looks like this one closer to us has got a blind eye. We'll have a look again when it looks around. And that's breakfast for some animals, eh? Some old buffalo bones and some muddy water. See that one's got a right, the one standing in the back of the two, its right eye is blind, probably from an old injury or maybe a fight or maybe a big sort of ruckus around the carcass, got a claw or a tooth into it. Off they go. <laughs> Fortunately busy disappearing, but it's just one of the smallest ones I've seen in a long time. difficult in the deep shadow there. Let's have a look at these on the left hand side just coming out into the sunlight. Just to the left of the car you're going to cross another female and then a male also on its way. Yo, look at that male's horns. Tips are very very close together, much closer than what is usual.
see when it turns the way again. The front view is horn tips almost touching. Beautiful male though, very good shape and condition. I haven't actually seen him much. Horns like that will recognize him quite easily. So as much as he crosses in front of us here, with that beautiful crest on his back, he should be very pretty. A bit of sunshine from behind. Look at that, just a glowing edge. Such stunning antelope. He's having a little browse. We're going to continue on a bit.